Hello everyone, my name is Hector Mendoza. I want to talk about two uh, tools in Xactimate, the Rotate and the Scale tool. I don't know if too many people know about this little uh, tricks. So, and also I want to show you how to rotate some labels in Xactimate. So this has to be with, you know, like I said, rotating and scaling. Uh, I'm going to try to get this done before my wife gets home. So hopefully I can get this thing done real quick. Okay, first of all, <clears throat> so uh, let's talk about rotate. So you see how this image is uh, rotated. So you know when you have an item. So I don't care if it's a room or you know. So you can rotate. By just hitting the tap key, you see how it's it's uh, rotating at 22.5 degrees. Same thing here. You see how it's at 22.5 degrees. The reason is because right now this thing is set. Um, so so let's say right now it's set at it was set at 22.5. Uh, degrees because that's the last time I used it so it's gonna remember that at, at least in the in a session uh, so let's let's rotate at 45 degrees once you rotate once at 45 degrees then if you hit tab it's always you know it's gonna do things at 45 degrees instead of 22 degrees so um, now <clears throat> you see how you see this thing is crooked, right? I want to rotate it and straighten it without. So let, let me show you something. <clears throat> I can do a free rotate. With a free rotate, if you move this thing around, it's going to rotate at 22 degrees, at uh, 22.5 degrees every time you know it snaps to uh, to those angles. But if you hold your shift key then you can rotate it at not no degrees it just rotates it as you free rotate that's a true free rotate so sometimes when you're rotating you know you might think that's straight but it might not be so look so if i hit my ass for it's called snap line you see how crooked that thing is see on one corner is touching the tip on the other side is not well let me show you a little trick you select the object go to re rotate and click ortho rotate okay a lot of people don't know about this tool so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna enlarge a little bit okay so now watch what I'm gonna do I selected the ortho I'm gonna click one corner I'm going to left click and drag and I'm going to touch that corner. I'm going to release and left uh, click again. Now when I hit my S, look at that straight. That's a pretty cool little tool. I use it a lot because I, I bring a lot of images to draw. Okay, so <clears throat> of course, you know, you, you, you can uh, rotate, you can click here and rotate 45 degrees, 90 degrees. Now, let's say that you don't want to keep on going down there. You can, while you have it selected and move it around, right? While you have it selected, if you, you can hit the tab key. Or let's say if you release and it's selected, you can hit the Q. It does the same thing. You can't tell. Here, let's let's uh, um, on that one. It's hard to tell. So let let's let's uh, kind of put it at a weird angle. Uh, not ortho. Let's use uh, free rotate. I'm gonna hold my shift key just a little bit. That way you can see. Okay. So if I have it, and I'm gonna first, I'm gonna set it at 90 degrees. Okay. So I'm gonna set it at 90 degrees. It's gonna flip once at 90. And every time I hit Q, it does 90. Now, 
This time I want to rotate it at uh, 22.5 degrees. Now, every time I hit the Q, it rotates at 22. So whatever you set it, you hit the Q, it's going to rotate it. Or if you click and tab, Actually, I think tab just does uh, 22.5. Let, 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 let me make, uh, let me see. Cause I'm, let, me, let me set it to 90 and then see if, uh, if, yeah, you see the tab will only do 22.5 degrees. Okay, so, uh, so let's uh, straighten this thing up uh, kind of. I want to straighten it up because uh, I want to show you something. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go use rotate ortho, enlarge it so I can get real close to it. I'm going to get this corner, drag, release, and then uh, left click. Okay, so talked about the rotate. Um, okay, so. Uh, let me okay so let me draw a couple of rooms and then uh, <clears throat> okay so, uh, come on so I'll put one there put one there put one there another one there another one here okay so um <clears throat> and let's say that the, the 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 font was too large so let's go to options let's go to font and let me just make it uh, on the labels 248 yeah perfect uh well let's make it a little bit smaller 48 let's go to uh, 26? No, not enough. Uh, 20, 36. We're just going to go with that. Uh, that's not big enough. Sorry about that. And last one, 48. Okay, so you see how I can't see the, you know, uh, and let's make the fonts also on the, uh, the measurements. We're going to make that big too. You see, it gets a little cumbersome, right? <clears throat> now, if I want to move this, the name of this room, I want to move it away from there. So if I hold my shift key, oh man, my wife's here. If I hold my shift key um, and I hit the space bar, it turns green, you can move these things around. So hit the space bar, you know, first select the, the, the room, you see this little diamond you have to get right on top of that and then you can you know let's say you move that around do the same thing there's a diamond move it around oh wrong thing so space go right to that little thing space bar um, okay so and you know you could go in there and you know point to that room point to that room Point to that room, you know. You get the the hang the hang of it. I hope. Um, okay, so that's how you can move your your uh, labels around. So here is the last thing that I'm going to talk to you about. And uh, so let, let me. Okay, so if you escape, you know, deselect the tool that you're actually on. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna create so here, let's, let's create that room. You see this tool right here? The tool uh this measuring no excuse me. Uh let's go back to tools and let's go to you see the scale tool? I can't I'm gonna close the door. Give me a second. So you, you see that tool, the scale tool? See, it's, it's not selectable. 
it's, it's grayed out. So there's nothing I can do, right? Let, let, let me tell you what that scale tool does. So I'm just going to create a, a quick uh, roof here. Roof and uh, roof. Ah, uh, man, those, uh, here. Let me escape. The, the fonts are too way too big. <laughs> Uh, fonts, I'm just going to go to 8 and 8. So I'm going to hit roof. And so let me just kind of create this thing real quick here. Um, this is just going to be a rough one. So uh, hit my break tool because I want to show you something. Break tool. Break tool. And one more break tool. And that is not a, that's actually a gable. So I turn that into. A gable. I wish there was commands, but there's no commands. Okay, here we go. Now, so see, <clears throat> when I brought this in here, when I brought that in here, you see that right here, it uh, is 34 from from this corner to this corner. I don't know if you can see it. It's 34, 11, 34 feet, 11 inches. Let's say that I'm down there and and I realize that and I've already drawn it. Some people can take a while to draw something like that. But let's say you drew this thing. It took you 20, 30 minutes to draw this or maybe an hour, whatever. And you find out that from here, from this, oops, from this corner to this corner is actually, let's say, uh, 42 square, uh, not square feet, 42 linear feet. So if you change that to 42 linear feet, that changes everything, which gives you a lot of money, a lot of extra money, or you're going to lose a lot of extra money. So so if, if I go in here, select this, right? Now, now, if I go to my tools, look at that scale tool. It, or I can hit G, okay, and I, you, you know, but I wanted to show you. So let's say I hit the G, um, you know, the the G key, key right? So I'm going to hit G. Watch, watch what I'm going to do. So I know right now from here, oh, man, sorry about that. I got to click and drag. So from here, click, drag to right. There, it is 34.9. Okay, I want everything to enlarge to 42 proportionately. That area is going to go to 42, and it's going to enlarge the whole thing. So watch this. You see? Now, because this was the same size as that. Now, proportionately, the whole thing enlarged. Okay, guys. That's it. I thought I'd show you those little uh, tricks. So if you ever have uh, a question about a tool in Xactimate or Symbility, you can email me. Ask me for my telephone number. I'll give you my number. We can talk on the phone. Thank you for watching this video, and y'all have a great day.